Hey guys, I wanted to show you real quick how to make that little logo that everyone was making for the tumblers and the coffee mugs. And it can be done in Cricut Craft Room. It takes a little bit of time, but we can do it. So I'm using the Cricut Craft Room Basics because everybody has access to that. So that's all you need. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, come down here and I don't want the scalloped circle. So I hit the shift. I want the regular circle. I'm going to add a couple of those on here because we're going to need them. Oops, I always get that. And I'm going to move them off to the side. Because I don't need all of them right now. So then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make it big because bigger is easier to manipulate for me. You can always resize it later. So you have your big circle. You're going to take another circle and kind of overlap it to make your ring. I wanted it to weld, and it's not welding. So I'm going to undo, because I don't... Yes, I want it. Okay. There we go. So we're going to make our ring, and you'll see it hollows out. And so you're just going to keep playing with it and sizing it until you get it the thickness that you want. Remember, you can always use your arrow keys to move things around, especially when you're trying to move them in little bits. So that's probably a good size right there. Then we need another ring. So you're going to size that one. I'm just going to keep layering them in there. Oh. That was my dog. So you're just going to maneuver it around until you get the rings, the thickness and the size that you want them to be. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then you're going to add this one in here. And that's going to be your center. So out this, this ring right here, this is where your letters are going to go. <clears throat> so the logo also has some stars. So we're going to add two stars up here. And there's one, and here's the other one, and I'm doing them two separate because when I try to copy and paste, it throws it oddly on there, and it's hard to find it. So we're going to make these smaller, and they are just below center over here. And this one. And don't worry about getting them perfect because I'm going to show you how to do that. And this one's just below center. Over here. Now, see, they're not the same size. Let me find a pen because I want to write some stuff down. Okay. So I like this one better. And I'm going to. Um, Look at right here, and this is the width of this one is 0 0.722. So I'm just going to write that down. And the y axis on this, which is the horizontal line, is 2.888. And that's just right here 2.888. So then if I go here and I leave the aspect ratio locked and I make this 0.722 and I go to the Y, see it changed the size of it, 
and I go 2.888 and I click off. You can watch it. It'll align itself perfect right on there. So now it's time to add our text. This is where it gets a little bit trickier. So we're going to add a text box and I'm still using the Cricut Craft Room Basics. You can use any font you want. This doesn't exactly match the font of that famous logo, but it's close enough. And again, I'm doing this so that I know everybody has the cartridge. So I'm going to just type in um, Lori's. Oops, I want all capitals. It does not have, oh, it does that time. It doesn't have the apostrophe. It shows it here, but it doesn't show it down here. So that's, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> so if I if I bring it over here, I can see that it's still a little too big to fit on my ring. So I bring it over here, and I'm going to just make it a little smaller. And I'm going to bring it back over here. And you can't really see it, so I know that it fits. Okay, does that make sense? So I'm going to look at the size here. Our um, our height is what we're worried about because that's the size we're going to want to match to the bottom is 0 0.931. Our width is not going to be the same, but our height is what we want to be the same. <clears throat> so then I'm going to um, right click or just click off of this. And then I'm going to add another text box and I'm going to type in coffee. Oops, two Fs. And then I'm going to say done. And I'm going to move it over here. Um, and then I'm going to put in 0 0.931 because we decided that was our height. And now it's the same size. But now to move them in there, I need to ungroup it. So I right click and I hit ungroup. And I right click down here and I hit ungroup. So now they are completely separate letters. And what I did is I know that R is the center of this. So I just dragged it over here and kind of centered it up as best as I could visually. And you want to make your um, curve along the bottom. So then the O, you don't really need to curve too much because it's an O. So you just slide it in here. And you can use your arrow keys again to line it up the way you want it to be. And the L. I know I'm going to need to tilt my L. So I can do that over here if I want, or I can bring it over here. See, I need to tilt it some more. And I'm going to want the bottom of that L to line up with this bottom circle down here. So, um, whoops, wrong key. So I just do this and manipulate it to where I think it needs to be. And do the same with the eye. The eye is a little narrow, so it's harder to see. But I use my arrow keys a lot. It's just easier for me to um, see things that way. And do your tilting. And S, bring it over and tilt it. And you're not going to see it because it's hanging out. Once it comes back in, it'll, um, what I meant by it was hanging over this line right here, so it was, you weren't seeing it. And <coughs> so, it's not perfectly centered, but you get the idea. I'm going to take the F and I'm going to put it roughly to the right of center. And I'm going to tilt so that the top, the top of the F is kind of perpendicular with this.
And then I'm going to move the other letters over. My fingers are faster than my computer seems to be this evening. It's all eyeballing it. It's all um, just doing it to how you like it. Like I've moved that E probably too far over and then I clicked on something wrong. So you just click off of it and come back and tilt. Grab the other E. Now, see, I'm overlapping and I'm touching things here, so I need to be really careful and make sure I get that um, off of those things. And yeah, I have this E, this E here, too far over. So I can just move it, which then makes my F out of place, so I move it. It's just all manipulating, adjusting, and coming back to it. So now I'm going to do the C, because I know it needs to be up here. And I'm going to tilt it. It needs to move down a little bit. And then O. See, I don't have enough room in here for my other F. So I need to squeeze some letters. So I'm going to move my C up. And I'm going to move my O. And I'm going to move this F a little bit back this way. And then I'm going to put this one in here and see how it fits. Can you guys hear my husband in the background? I can hear him. He's in the kitchen. Got a loud voice. So maybe move this E. With just patience on getting these lined up the way you want them. Okay, enough of that. So then I thought. Um, we need something in the middle and staying on that cartridge let's add a heart to the middle of this and we can do Valentine stuff since that is the next holiday coming up and size it and stick it right in there voila so I'm going to save this real quick I'm just going to call it logo. Now, when you cut this, this is orange. So remember, it's not going to cut orange unless you put orange um, vinyl on your mat. So you can cut these any colors you want. I would probably cut this in um, a red and the heart in pink or maybe the outside in pink and the heart in red if you're giving it as a, as a um, Valentine's gift maybe pill a tumbler full of um, uh, Hershey Kisses now remember to size it just highlight everything and size it right here it sizes everything and that's it um, when it cuts it's gonna look like this and you're gonna have to take your weeding tool and cut out this layer and all around everything and just leave what you want to transfer to your tumbler to the mat or on the mat and then use your transfer tape and it will um, transfer right over. If you're going to put it on a tumbler or a coffee mug, you're going to want to use um, Oracle 651. I order that from either Amazon or craftvinyl.com. They're a little slow on their shipping sometimes, but it's really great product and my machine cuts through it with no problem. Um, that's an outdoor vinyl. It's um, got stronger adhesive on it and people say it's not dishwasher safe and they tell you it's not. 
the dishwasher safe, but I put my tumbler in the top shelf of the dishwasher numerous times. It's never came off. Others have said theirs did. So your decision, your call, if you want to hand wash it or put it in the dishwasher. I just go to the dollar store, get the little dollar store tumblers. I think it's Dollar Tree is where I go. They're a dollar. They come with the insulated tumbler. They're got the lid and the little straw. They come in the multiple multiple colors. So there's that. If you have any questions, give me a call. Not a call, sorry. Give me a um, message on here. Shoot me a private message. Um, go to my my own personal wall, whatever. You all know how to get a hold of me. So there you go. Enjoy. And I'll post this file up there so you can manipulate it and change the letters out any way you want to. And I look forward to seeing your creations. Bye-bye.